Hello everyone, I'm Alex and today we are watching episode 4 of Violet Evergarden. It seems that Violet is still adjusting to her new role and completely new lifestyle. Instead of fighting on the battlefield, she has to adjust to a social life, understand emotions and learn empathy. And all of that whilst still looking for Major Gilbert, a mysterious persona existing in her memories. Who wants to find out what's going to happen in this episode? Let's tune in! And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to help this channel grow. Thanks! Violet looks so pretty in this dress. That's nice. <gasps> oh dear. I don't know what to tell you. Will Violet be able to catch her? I guess so, because Violet's got reflexes. She's really fast and I bet she's really deadly too. Hmm. Beautifully animated intro as well. Oh, it's because Violet, Violet is better. She's very logical. Oh, that have ruined her outfit. Oh, it's a nice welcoming. So she actually fell down the stairs. Violet, please be quiet. A star? I think she was telling stories in the letters to her family. I see, that makes sense now. Wow, that is such a beautiful intro. Really pretty. She's really pretty. <laughs> but she does behave like a doll. And she's got a bit of a dolly dress. It's beautiful though. Of his of her family. Party. I think Iris should help her with the type of invitation she wants to type. No way. So that is why. That's horrible. Oh, 
Oh my god. That's awful. And I guess one name caught her attention. Maybe she has feelings for him and should be too embarrassed. <sighs> I really don't like her parents. Like, I can see where they're coming from. You know, this is a, a farm. They have different way of thinking, but still. It is beautiful. You can almost feel that warm wind. Crickets chirping, beautiful moon. It's lovely. Oh wow, it really went all out. Oh no, she's trying to introduce her to some potential suitors, I think. Not like they're interested about her. Oh. That's the handsome gentleman I think Iris might have feelings for. Unless something happened between them. Wow, whatever happened in the past must have been really horrible to Iris and her mom completely disregarded her daughter's feelings because she thinks she knows better and she wants better for her. Well, oh, I can see now. Come on, Violet, stop sticking needles in her. Although it's not Violet's fault for not understanding how feelings work. <sighs> Don't tell me Violet will tell them. I hope not. It's kind of private matter to Iris, you know. Sorry, but... <laughs> Well, her mom knew that she would be mad, and yet she went against her daughter's wishes. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, Violet. Poor Violet. I'm really sorry that she's in this situation. But you are just a friend. I think the Aishiteru that she told to this guy might give a clue to Violet as to what it actually means and why Major told her that. That must have been really embarrassing to Iris. Yeah, I'd want to escape from that place as well. Oh yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> totally bury my head in the sand. Well, he waited till the end to tell her. So I guess so. Well, she tried, but her parents obviously know better than her. But that is true. A letter would be better than an actual conversation. But can her parents read? Oh, they can. あ、仕事は大変なことも Oh no. Oh my god, Violet is so serious. Iris says. No. <laughs> Oh yeah. Not yet. <laughs> you did. Honestly, you're getting so much better. I see. So they named her daughter after field of irises in the village. So Violet wasn't her name? No way. Violet. That's beautifully said. You won't be at all but a person worthy of that name. Whoa. I think she's on the way to become that person. She's not a tool anymore. Not a tool in a war. She is seen and recognized as a person, even though some people make a joke that she behaves or looks like a doll. It doesn't help that she's called out of memoir doll, but she's on the way to become more humane. Although I believe that she is very humane. It's just that she's very humane in her own way, in a slightly different way. Yeah, it's tough. It really is. I'm really surprised that it was Major Gilbert who named her. I can't believe she didn't even have a name for all those years. Just, I guess she was just roam, roaming streets as a homeless girl. And that's how she learned how to fight and survive. But the fact that she was, that someone was able to tame her and how did they tame her? Like, I'm really scared to learn about that part of her past. Because that sounds really rough. I guess we might see more about that in previous episodes. We are on a really beautiful journey, aren't we? And like I've said, I kind of felt that we will be getting to know each of the characters as the story progresses. So I'm curious to know who will be the next character that will be getting to, that that will be learning about the past. And alongside, we'll be we're also learning more about Violet's past. Really interesting. Anyways, as always, thank you so much for watching with me. And I guess I'll see you next episode. Bye.